सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल इंट्रो में एक बार भी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सो गाइस यू माइट हैव डिजाइंड मेनी शाफ्ट्स इन योर मशीन्स एंड इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज पॉसिबल टू डू द हैंड कैलकुलेशंस फॉर द शाफ्ट साइज बिकॉज मेनी टाइम्स डिफरेंट फोर्सेस लेट से एक्सियल टॉर्शनल and many other parameters come into the picture we have different uh, keyways and slots and holes on the shaft so by mere hand calculations it is not possible to you know design and decide the shape of the shaft so and size of the shaft so we have a online tool which is uh, available and from which we can decide the different parameters so without wasting time let's check it out So just go on the internet and type MIT calc shaft. First link will be there. Just open that and download uh, from this. Then after downloading, you will get a zip file. So just uh, unzip that file. So just go into that and you will get a application file. Download it and then go to the shafts and. just click on that so this is the sheet now here we can see the shaft design and calculation some input parameters are there preliminary shaft diameter design then shaft size dimensions then notches loading rotating mass material and types of loading and then we have result section now let's see what are the input parameters here you could see the calculation units you can change uh the units from imperial then we can change the type of loading static pl torsion plus bending then we have uh the unit option we can change that option uh then lot of options are there uh we can add the notch sensitivity uh we can add the transfer of so hole necking ne then general notch all the dimensions are given over there so we just have to add their dimensions Uh, so that the software will consider those sizes and will consider the effect of that on the uh, factors then we have loading of the shaft now that is very important what are the radial forces what are the axial forces what mo moment what torsion is acting so this is all given we have to give these input parameters according to our application so we should know what is moment what is fx what is mb uh, like the these moment so we have to put all the data in this chart which is uh, directly available so we just have to put the inputs then rotating mass if we have some rotating additional masses we can add those values over here if no we can just click on no right then we have material and type of loading so in material uh, we can change the values Uh, we have different materials like uh, steel cast iron and alloys and we can change uh, the value from here the other parameters will get changed automatically then uh, we have load types then uh, we have the coefficient of maximum loading the bending radial load torsion then we have loading conditions what kind of loading we uh, we have like a reverse or let's say static or repeated kind of so all these parameters are available and we just have to you know according to the places a b uh, they have given then these all are input parameters we have to give so after uh, we give all these input parameters so fx mt so you should know these parameters uh, for your system uh that is very important and after you give the input to uh, the system just click on shaft calculation it will take some time and our results are ready let's check out the results so as soon as you click we get the results somebody now you can see how many uh things we have the reactions we have and as soon as you click on this it shows what does it mean so we have the deflections torsional deflection angular deflection maximum shear stress maximum shear, shear uh, stress in torsion so all these things 
how we they have calculated the critical speed then result for x coordinate now we have also got the graphs we have got, got the graphs for deflection and bending angle the x y x z plane now you can see the deflection in inches then we have the deflection and bending angle graph so you are getting all these things you just have to give the input to the software and you will get these output uh, values so this is like xz xy sum and angle all four graphs are there if you want any one graph you just have to click that option only you will get only one graph then there are radial force shear stress diagrams bending moment and bending stress diagrams then radial force and shear stress diagrams you have axial force and torsional moment graphs torsional angle reduced stress so you get all these parameters and if we, you want to import it into CAD system just click on that and here you, you get option output 2d drawing to you can give uh, to DXF or AutoCAD version directly right so so and then you, you have drawing scale options also so you get all these things uh, directly so this is how you can clear the table and again you can change the parameters and you can again calculate uh, the parameters so this is how this tool works and this is very useful tool and uh, you can download it and it might be available in demo version but it is uh, basically very useful and in the bottom side also you can see the different tables options and whatever things they have used for this sheet to work you can also cross check those things uh, what parameters and all those things they have considered right so this is how uh, this works and i hope this was helpful to you guys because in many applications we have to design the shaft so we can get an idea what are the different parameters required and how we can calculate the size of the shaft and check its safety so that's it guys for the today's session and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making thank you for your patient listening thank you